go as slow as shadow on the mic I play to win, never to lose In the contest of champions I'm the one that shoes Swipe straight down, my moves are slick Dexterity more heavily, I dodge quick Class champ, I'm the master of the game Cosmic science, skill tech mutant I claim Arena and chill grind, that's how I roll No stress, no drama, just on patrol The fight, I'm swift, my tactics excite Lost shadows in the arena, ready to ignite From the streets to the screen, my skills are renowned in the world of Marvel, I'm the King Crown. So listen up, here's the story of the champ. Lord Shadow's the name. I'm the Grind Track fan. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going to be taking a first look at Beta Ray Bill. I'm actually pretty excited about this champion coming into the contest, and we'll go through his abilities, stats, and all that good stuff, and I'll explain a little bit further why. I'm excited for Beta Ray Bill. I never wanna hold you back. I wanna give you every chance to make it. To make it. I'm afraid if I love the lights, you'll leave me alone tonight. Cause I'm changing. And I'm breaking. And this is so right. I'm scared to ask these questions. Cause I know that you reject my love. Moving so on, those are deadly faces. I need a shoulder to cry on. Let's dive into Beta Ray Bill's abilities and stats and all that good stuff. So we start out, uh, Beta Ray Bill is a Corbinite who became a powerful cyborg in order to protect his own people from the threat of Surtur and his fire giants. In a battle against Thor, he proved his worthiness to Odin. I believe he beat Thor in that battle. Don't quote me on that. Uh, who was so impressed by Bill's prowess and honorable actions that he crafted a unique magical hammer exclusively for the Corbinite, Stormbreaker. Uh, I believe also that Beta Ray Bill picked up Mjolnir and was shown to be worthy. Uh, armed with the might of Stormbreaker and his own fiery sense of justice, Beta Ray Bill travels the stars in search of wrongs to right and villains to vanquish. Okay, so for those of you who don't know who Beta Ray Bill is, now we have been waiting for Beta Ray Bill. People have talked about it. They wanted him in here. Now his entry is imminent. So let's take a look uh, at what we can expect. And I can tell you right now, I'm actually excited to uh, get this Beta Ray Bill. All right, so you can see here his health and attack and PI, um, you know, base stuff at four-star level, five-star level, six-star level, and seven-star. So he's got 85,129 health as a seven-star rank three. Okay, so they're maxing these guys out. Um... His attack is 59, 53, PI 27, 310. Now, these right here, they started adding. I, I don't know. I, I would still have to play with the champion. Um, but survivability, damage, ease of use, utility, and defender strength. I, I don't know how accurate these are. Okay, so this is from the balancing team. And these are their values based on whatever their criteria is. When he finally comes to the contest, we don't know. Maybe that uh, will prove to be not necessarily the case. I don't know. All right, let's keep going here. All right, so his damage comes from letting his shocks expire while he's performing a special one attack. Shocks last for a long time, but he can speed them up by over the shock expiration time hmm but he can speed them up 
by over the shock expiration time. Maybe I should volunteer to proofread. Okay, anyway. Um, you can inflict shocks with basic attacks, but the most reliable way to inflict them is through the special two, uh, special attack two. And if you activate this special while charging the heavy, oh, the special attack two is further empowered. So that means that you can interrupt your heavy with your special two to get more damage. Okay. He's cosmic. And his base abilities are Intensify, Grit, Shock, and Fury. Okay, now, this is some of the stuff that I heard about that was making me excited. So, he's immune to Power Drain and Shock. Now, for me, in Alliance War especially, I take Path 3. Currently, there's a lot of Power Draining and Shock going on. I have one node in Section 2 path three that if they have an armor up you'll get shock so this means he would be great for that and the power drain i'm not sure how it affects the um you know is it power burn because he's power drain i don't see power burn and if that is power burn then you know but we'll, we'll find that out now check out his resistances Poison and Bleed. If you guys know me, you know that I love running the Recoil, Double Edge, and Liquid Courage Masteries. Liquid Courage puts a indefinite poison debuff on you. And the Bleed from Double Edge lasts, I forget, what is it, 30 seconds or something like that? But if you're taking less damage from the Bleed and the Poison... And you can also use a mastery called Coagulate, which I usually have maxed out, to further decrease the effectiveness of the bleeds against you. Then if you're running willpower, there's a chance that you can actually gain health because of this. So that is really nice. That's why it's great that he's resistant to the uh, poison and bleed and not immune to them. If he was immune, then there would be nothing to um, uh, trigger the uh, willpower. All right. Let's see. Let me see. I just looked it up. Uh, it says 16 seconds for the double edge. All right. This grit buff is very interesting, and I see that it says on demand grit buff that allows you to bypass unstoppable. So if you're going up against someone that gains a lot of unstoppable, like, oh, I don't know, Jessica Jones, um, we got uh, Juggernaut, um, who else? Uh, Rintra, I believe, uh, even uh, Magneto. This looks very interesting to me. And then he has high damage. Now, how high is that? I don't know. We will find out. But he has high damage on short fights and really high damage on longer fights. So he goes from high damage to really high damage the longer the fight goes on. That is interesting to me. So right now, this currently um interested me because i run the recoil you know double edge liquid courage so as soon as i saw that he took less damage from poison and bleed and he was immune to uh power drain and shock and he can handle unstoppables i was like bring him on so i'm very interested okay uh they say his weaknesses the shock immunity blocks his main source of damage uh, not his shock immunity, sorry. Um, because he uses shock to damage his opponents, if he's going up against someone who has shock immunity, then he's not going to be good. It's just like if uh, you go up against a bleed immune champ and you're using 
a champion that that's their main source of damage, Nick Fury, you know? Um, let's see. Beta Ray Bill is entirely dependent on his buffs. Without them, his damage decreases substantially. So anyone um, like Wiccan or anything like that uh, can basically counter him pretty well, looks like. Uh, anyone that will punish him for having buffs will do well against him as well. Okay, so... All right. Now, let's see. Uh, incoming bleed and poison suffer 50% reduced potency. And, of course, you can get more with the uh, coagulate. He's immune to shock power drain. Uh, when the power drain immunity triggers, he gains a power gain. Po oh, wow. Uh, granting one bar of power over half a second. And cooldown, 14 seconds. Okay. When starting a fight against tech champions or when immune to an effect, gain a steady buff for 20 seconds. Hmm. Okay. I'm 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 very interested in him getting in here. Oh ho! -ho. The Thor relic increases the potency of personal buffs by 25%. So I guess the Thor relic is the relic you want to use for him. Uh, let's see. Gaining power when suffering from a power drain is a great ability that can speed up your loop. Yeah, I saw that when I was reading it. Um, but you should prepare for it and anticipate its activation so you don't gain more power than you need. Yeah, it's nothing like wanting to fire a special two, for example, counter it, you know, um, interrupting your own heavy to get a nice, good, chunky power uh, from your special two and going to a special three instead. Oh, so he's like Magneto. He gains an unstoppable buff while he is charging his heavy attack. And yeah, if struck while this buff is active, this effect goes on cooldown for 24 seconds. This is similar to Magneto. All buffs on Beta Ray Bill and all shocks on the opponent are paused. Really? Now that reminds me of uh, Mr. Sinister. Every 0.4 seconds, gain a 20% intensify buff for 4 seconds. Max 4 stats. Okay. Um, Bill's heavy attacks can be charged for an extended duration. Intensify. What does that do? I mean, just from the sound, it, it, it sounds like it'll increase the... Um, maybe the potency of his buffs or his damage. See if they tell us that about uh, later. I'm not sure. Uh, while above two bars of power, let's see. While Beta Ray Bill is below two stacks of Intensify, the opponent suffers an Intimidate passive. Okay. Um, at max stacks, the opponent suffers a 10% Infuriate passive. I don't know how good that is, honestly. Um, with the AI acting the way it does, I don't know. Um, let's see. Activate a special attack two while charging a heavy attack. Pauses all personal buffs. Okay. Um, till Betty Red Bill has landed or been struck by four basic hits per intensify gain. Okay. So you have a max of five. And once... And then your heavy can be charged for a duration. Okay, so each intensify gained once he gets hit. So he can go charge his heavy. And he's going to be unstoppable. And until Beta Ray Bill lands or is struck by four basic attacks per intensify gained up to a max of 20 yeah so max stacks is five four per intensify so a max of 20 heavy hits count as two hits okay it affect this effect does not trigger if it is already active releasing the heavy grants a grit buff okay so that's the on demand so like a she-hulk 
when she can do a heavy attack into their um, unstoppable to cancel it, it looks like he can do something similar. You know, once he releases his heavy attack, he'll gain the grit buff and I guess counter the unstoppable for 15 seconds. I'm going to have to see how that works. You know, um, is there a cooldown on that? Uh, I don't see a cooldown. I see a cooldown for the unstoppable, but not a cooldown for the um, grit buff heavy attack thing. You know, so after the 15 seconds, can you do another heavy attack? Um, does it stack? Uh, does it refresh? Those are some questions. Okay. Um, developer notes, Call of Thunder, pauses all present and future buffs on Beta Ray Bill, allowing you to focus completely on controlling your shocks. Okay. Ah. On the opponent, choosing the best time to throw a special one to cash out without worrying about buff duration. Okay. Let's see. Army Pulverizer. First medium attack pulverizes one armor up effect. Really? Removing it and dealing a burst. Oh, 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 oh. oh, wow. Really? The first medium. So when he goes up against champions with armor ups... Interesting. See, I'm telling you, the my path in war is going to love him. If he can remove armor ups, that is beautiful. Oh, wow, I can't wait. This is a oh, this is a passive effects, uh, a passive effect and bypasses nodes where the opponent is debuffing me. <laughs> oh, wow. So some of the nodes where you can't armor break them to remove their armor up, he will bypass it because it's passive. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, if the bus buff pause is not active, um, basic attacks have a 10%, okay, to inflict a shock passive. All right. During a combo, starting with a media ta medium attack or while striking the opponent, with a special attack one, the expiration rate of personal shocks increase, huh, by 285%. The first hit of the special attack refreshes all shocks on the opponent. Okay. All shocks are paused. All right. Um, during the opponent's special attack. Now, that's nice because how many times have you put something on your opponent and then they suddenly get real aggressive and start firing specials at you to to you know um, wear down the timer on your debuffs. Can't do that against him. Nice. And also uh, with Beta Ray Bill Special Two. Okay. When any shock, ooh, any shock on the opponent ends. Oh, deal a burst. So it's when it ends, it deals a burst. So that explains this. Because I was wondering, I was like, how is that good? Um, uh, where is it? The um, the expiration. Where'd it go? The... Uh, uh, how did I finish it? I mean, how did I miss it? Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, here it is. This one here. I was trying to figure this out. The expiration rate of personal shocks increases. And I'm like, wait a minute. That means that they're going to expire faster. Why would that be a good thing? But this explains it now. This explains it. Wow. Okay, let's see what the developer says. If you need to remove an armor up from the opponent with a pulverize, but do not want to increase the expiration rate of the shocks by starting a combo with a medium attack, use a non-standard, ah, like a light. Yep, that makes sense. Because it says the first medium. So you don't have to start with a medium. You can do a light, then medium. Okay. This allows you to use the first medium to trigger the pulverize 
but does not start a combo and doesn't trigger. Okay. That's good to know. All right. So special attack one. Let's just kind of read through this uh, quickly here. I don't want to take too long. Uh, on activation, gain a fury buff. All right. During this attack, potency of personal bursts of damage is increased by 200%. I see what they mean by high damage. I, I really got to see this in action. Uh, any, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, when any shock ends on the opponent during this attack, inflict a personal shock passive. Aligning the shocks to expire during his specials causes the shocks to do a lot of damage. Really? This is his main source of damage. Okay. So he, um, developer says, remember to trigger the buff pause before throwing a special one since it will keep the Fury buffs paused and further enhance the damage. Wow. Oh, it's going to be interesting. Okay, Special Attack 2. Uh, he gets an Energized buff. Okay, so, ooh. So he's going to get some uh, uh, power back. All Lightning hits inflict a personal shock passive. Each Intensify buff grants a 10%. Okay, there we go. A 10% chance to inflict these shocks through block. Wow. So we see a couple of things that that Intensify does. Stacking up five Intensify buffs increase the potency of the Energize. Aha. Yep. Um, allowing Bill to gain lots of power very quickly. Uh-huh. And thus activate the special one lots of times. Stacking up lots of Fury buffs. Wow. Now, that style of fighting... May not work for me because I run the recoil, but that's good to know. And it may be that he does more damage. I'm gonna, I'm curious on that one. Does he do more damage with the recoil masteries or without? Wow. Okay. Gain a 100% resonance uh, buff for 20 seconds. Pause during special. Okay, if the opponent is Shock Immune, the special three offers an alternative route or route for damage. Get to three bars of power, heavy charge to gain five intensified buffs, then release the special three. Since the Resonate is a buff, the Intensify will empower it. Ah! Afterwards, loop special one as often as you can, and since special one empowers personal bursts of damage, it also affects the burst from Resonate. Huh. Okay, so he's not going to be horrible against someone who's shock immune if you do all that. All right. Um, before releasing special one, remember to gain the five stacks of intensify. So the fury buff from the special one is improved. All right. So I was right. The intensify does do that. Increase that. All right. All right. His signature ability. Ooh. The potency of personal bursts of damage is increased by 40%. Wow. So, all right. Reduce the unstoppable cooldown by 10 seconds. And while a personal unstoppable buff is active, damage taken is reduced. Oh, wow. It's reduced by 100%, but it doesn't reduce the damage from a special three. Okay. So, I'm going to say... You don't need to have him awakened, but you really want him awakened. Because one style that, you know, the heavy, charging a heavy with all the intensify buffs and everything, and he's getting hit, you're going to be taking damage. And I remember reading that going, well, I'm probably not going to be doing that. But I will if I have him awakened. And that... I don't know, um, is that just his Awakened, or is that Max at Max Sig? We'll, we'll find out. Wow. That is nice. All right. Let's uh, really quickly, because um, we already are at uh, over 20 minutes here. Uh, let's go through the uh, synergies very quickly here. All right. Um, when rooted. But, oh, wait, wait, wait. What? With Hulk Ragnarok. When rooted, passively gain up to the nearest bar. Okay, um, y'all know, and you may not, I absolutely hate root. 
I actually have a mental condition when it comes to things like root. It triggers me badly. What I'm looking at right here is a way to deal with root. Now, it looks like only synergy champions. So is that just is that just with Hulk or is that with Hulk and Beta Ray Bill? Cuz if that's with Beta Ray Bill as well, if he's affected by this, I will be bringing Hulk with me every time there's a root anywhere. He will be a staple. Because that will allow me to deal with that root quickly. Even if I don't have a special one or two or any special ready to get rid of the root. Oh, wow. Okay. I can already tell you that's going to be my favorite synergy right there. All right. Thor, Jane Foster. Okay. Final hit. Has a chance for a stun. Okay. Um, start each fight. All right. Yep. Yeah. Um, Y'all can read that. So it'll give Beta Ray Bill a chance for a stun. And it's with Thor Ragnarok and uh, Jane Foster. Moon Dragon, Groot. Groot, really? Captain Marvel? Okay. The final hit of a special attack pulverizes three armor ups, each dealing 100% of the of attack as direct damage. Actually, that might be a good one. Let's see. Out of these, I probably would end up bringing Moon Dragon. But maybe Captain Marvel, if I get her awakened or something, I don't know. Wow. That could be useful to me um, if I have an open slot. All right. Anthropomorphism. Uh, let's see. Rentress. Spider-Ham. You had me at Spider-Ham. And how it up. First special attack activated in a fight. Cost 33%. Okay, so that's cool. Um, that's a little nice thing. I can see myself bringing Spider-Ham easily. And let's see. Guardian, Sasquatch. Perfect block chance. Okay. Both of them are good. And here we go. Recommended Masteries. So he is made, as you guys can see, with them in mind. Negate some of the negative effects of these Masteries since he's resistant to bleed and poison. Yeah. Tell me this is a champ for you without telling me it's a champ for you. And, of course, the uh, recommended relic is Thor, the Thor relic. All right, guys, that is going to do it. I am excited to have this guy come into the contest. I cannot wait. Uh, so take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about Beta Ray Bill. Does he look good? Do you want him? Anyway, take care, and you all have a blessed day. Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll. No stress, no drama, just on patrol. In the fight, he swift. His tactics be tight, those shadows in the arena ready to ignite. From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned. In the world of Marvel, Lord, the King Prime.